Terry Vanderheiden here. I'm going to show you some of my favorite tools in Lightroom. So the first one that I'm going to use that I use almost all the time, especially with Scenics, is the gradient tool. So we go into the develop module and on these icons up here, this is the gradient tool. And you've probably used this before, but maybe you haven't used it to all its abilities. So what you can do is take the gradient tool and drag it across the sky, because let's face it, if you're going to go out and buy gradient filters to put over your lens, this is what's going to happen. You're going to darken the sky and at, we can do that with much more control in Lightroom. So we've just put this gradient over our sky. We can come over here to exposure and darken that down. So now we have a much darker sky than we originally did. Now let's say for instance, we want to move that. We can move the gradient down just a little bit more. But again, a gradient filter isn't something that you can make any of these changes with. If you want to go into color, and let's say we want to add a little bit extra blue in that sky, we can add that to it. Certainly can't do that with a gradient uh, lens on your camera. So here we've got this gradient tool, but here, what really I think is the power of this thing is the ability to edit with it. So this is essentially a mask. And if we go down here, we can click on this and show the mask. You can see that pink area up there shows everything that's being masked. And the problem with this image, obviously, when we put this gradient on, is it's also gradiented delicate arch. And we don't want to do that. We want to have that its original colors. So let's go back, turn this gradient on, and here's the really neat thing with the gradient tool. You can go in here, hit the brush tool, and now we can edit this mask. Over here, we hit erase, and we can slide this flow down to 100%. And the size, you can use the size just like any other Photoshop tools. You can use your bracket keys and make the brush as big or as small as you want. But what's neat is this little uh, minus tool that's in the middle, and you can see it right here. What that minus tool does, wherever you click on that, that selects that color and then eliminates that from the mask. So watch, as I click on this and I start painting, you can see I just hold the cursor down as I paint, and you can see that it's grabbing all of those tones and removing them from the mask. So now we're able to make a really creative mask that we weren't able to do before. And if you see like still more mask color up there, you just click on it and make it go away. Just erasing that mask. And what it does, it goes, it uses just that color. So it goes up, goes up to the edge right around, in this case, this arch. And so you're able to make a pretty accurate mask and you haven't really gone to selecting or done any of that extra work. So along this ridge line, again, just making sure that my brush is on the ridge instead of the sky, I can just drag this across and it removes all of that tone. Same thing over here and over here. So that's a really cool thing. So we turn that mask off and on and you have the ability to now have a gradient mask, but controlled. And let's say you want to work on the clouds. You want to have those a little bit uh, they don't, they don't need to be blue. That doesn't make any sense. So you come down here and erase those. So depending on what you want to use, you can do it at hundred percent, but I would recommend if you're doing clouds to bring it down quite a bit and then just come up and whatever you paint starts removing that mask and brings back the original color of the clouds. And as you click again, it grabs more color and goes right to the edge of the clouds to remove that mask as you're working through it. So you can do that to whatever level you want to do. And what's great is, is now we've created this mask. We hit done and we've created a gradient mask that we have total control over. You can also, which you can't do with a filter, is add another gradient mask. We can take one and let's say bring it up from underneath down here. We want to darken this area. Again, we just bring down the exposure and now we've darkened in that area with another gradient that's slightly on an angle. So the gradient tool is a fantastic tool and I really encourage you to try it. So use it to its fullest extent and you'll never use gradient filters again.